Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Galsif 3. I think I have to address my your border situation sometime soon, because if we... Uh, where was that? Govern, I think? Yeah. The uh, Look at the timeline and the military power. Oh, that doesn't look too bad, actually. They don't have any military to speak of, so I guess we're fine for now. But I do want to eventually take care of these damn pirates. There's one more coming out, and I guess they're steadily producing. But uh, if the Yor don't have any military yet, that's pretty good for me, actually. Because then it means I could turn Cathalia into a mostly production-oriented system. It's too big to just make it one type of output, like just manufacturing, because we have so many tiles. If you put that all on production, we're gonna... I don't even know what to do with all that production. But uh, we are gonna gear it mostly towards production. And reason being is that we only have that planetary soil upgrade in the middle between these factories, which I did off screen by the way, but yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I did. So uh, we put that in here and we could put another Durantium refinery in it. That means that it can touch all the factories uh, adjacent to it, which is four in this case. Plus we get this uh, Tacopot Hive that also gives us plus two on these factories. So, yeah, that's pretty much one big reason for it. For it uh, meaning that we're gonna go with this <clears throat> more production-focused um, approach for this planet. And the second one being it's our closest system to the Yor border. And the Yor pretty much hate us. There's no other way to put it. The only thing uh, giving us one plus is our skill in diplomacy. But uh, there's just a lot of reason for them to hate us, and uh, I guess there's gonna be some more as soon as our influence will start spreading out. So, we need to build a shipyard here anyway, because I fear this one is just too far away. And uh, we're gonna use this one probably to address the uh, Kryn Syndicate. Most likely. But that's, uh, that's for the future. For now, we're just gonna take some turns and build up that little empire of ours. Hopefully fast enough so we can uh, stay ahead of the Kryn a little bit. Because it, it seems like they're, for now at least, the uh, the strongest contestant. Um, let's just go like this. Uh, need to uncover the fog of war here. I also realized that uh, if I put my star station a little bit more, like maybe here, it could have touched the Thulium and two Dirantium, so I'm not really sure. I can't move it, right? Nah, there's no decommission. What does that mean? Oh, okay. So we could uh, erase it, I guess, but I don't want to have... I don't want to do that just yet. Um, maybe when we have one spare constructor and it's already up here, I'll see what the commission will... Yeah, I'll see to it that I decommission that and put the star station in between all those resources. It's it just more efficient. Um, maybe I'll also settle this planet, if for nothing else, just to extend our ship's range. And uh, to give us a little bit of influence growth in that direction. But yeah, that's also for the future. It doesn't really... Not really on my agenda right now. Okay... Idle colony? We can't have that. Which one is idle? Honolith. Um, Honolith... 3. You are idle. Okay, what to do with you, actually? It's growing influence. That's pretty good. Here we got plus 2 to military, but we don't have any military buildings yet, so... That doesn't... Uh, I did build the... Yeah, I already did build my soil thingy. Uh, so I guess we're just gonna build another one of these. Then upgrade the factory. And subsequently also the labs. And for that... If I take off the focus... Yeah, doesn't seem worth it. Because uh, we're gonna just lose one turn on the research lab. But uh, two turns on each of these... 
upgrades and that seems a little much time to lose so not gonna do that hmm power plant sure would be nice but yeah it's it's fine it's fine idle colony one another earth oh can't have that uh, we upgraded most factories Fully approval, we got. Um, hmm, what can we do here? Military again. Don't really think I need that. Definitely want to upgrade the, the factory. And maybe the labs as well. What do I put here? I guess I just leave that tile blank for now. Because we don't have any military buildings that we could. Oh no, we need to have that. That one. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it makes the most sense to put it right next to the Durantium Refinery, right? Because then we can uh, make use of yet another adjacency bonus. Which is uh, quite strong, if you don't mind me saying that. Probe! Oh yes, finally another scout. Though... What is that? Does have a lot of range apparently. Um, let's help scout up here. Doesn't move very fast though. Maybe. Oh my god, this is out of range. Okay, so maybe we need to uh, cancel the construction of that second probe. And this one actually... Yeah, let's, let's send it here, but that was a pretty... That wasn't good. <laughs> Why are you not moving? Come on. Move. Don't tell me you can't move there. Really? What the hell's wrong? Why are you not moving? Command. Move your butt over there. Oh, it doesn't have. All right, whatever. Uh, it already moved, so yeah, I'm just a moron. Um, we're gonna use it to explore that a little bit. But if you see the the dotted line here, that is its range, which is maybe a little, a little too little. <laughs> uh, damn. Yeah, this here seems more like it. So I guess we need a second life support on our scouts, but... Meh, we don't have the space for it, right? So, uh... Well, I'll take a look at it, see what we can do. Ah, there's another constructor. Um, I guess we could go with another... Propagator and with another constructor. Let's grow that empire. Alright, let's take a look at the scout. Uh, yeah, I guess until it reaches here to discover that, uh, we'll already have discovered that with my survey ship. So that's fine. Um, I'll use it though to uncover this area around the black hole. Ship. Okay, so we got one constructor route here. Damn, we can't fit between the planets. So I guess. What do I guess actually? <sighs> That's not too easy. Which one to. Get first. Okay, so this here is working on the influence growth, which is nice. And uh, yeah, we should get these upgrades done, I guess. Uh, go with the Xeno factory first, though, because it should make the others a little faster. Ah, oh, this is fine. We don't need the focus. I 
guess we, uh... Okay, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's no chance I can touch both the ranchium resources. And sadly, I can't touch both uh, planets, which I thought would be possible for whatever reason. So I guess I'll have to decide which direction I'll actually want to send this. And uh, I want to... Probably send it here. Help out Armada a little bit. Asteroids, asteroids, that's good. Just gonna send it over here, maybe. I guess this spot here is fine. Um, yeah, I guess this is fine. Let's just uh, construct the starbase here. And uh, start it out with a mining rig. Or we do a culture ring. We're gonna start out with mining. Oh. Yeah, gonna start out with mining. I can't um, then build uh, culturing on it, it seems, so we could build planetary def uh, planetary starbase defenses on it, but we can't build another I'll get that one going, okay. That one, I guess we're pretty much in the stage where we could actually could actually move one of my constructors up here and uh, decommission this one. Might seem like a little waste of resources, but overall, I think we're I think we're gonna be better off. And uh, actually, need two colony ships then. No constructor, please go away. Uh, second colony ship, navigator. Though we do need three turns for the tech. We do need some more tech to actually be able to build better scouts. Uh, I'm not sure I can find the time. Uh, what? Be wary, Terrans. As you explore the stars, what is new to you is ancient to other races. Okay. That's just some friendly advice, I guess. Or is that supposed to be a warning? I don't know. I didn't get it either way. I don't care either way. As long as my power uh, is greater than yours, you can uh, <laughs> babble on whatever you like. Doesn't make me, no, never mind. Bronson 2. Is that so? What the hell are you doing there? Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, okay, so we got a lot of these... I'm not sure if I want to get that. Um, definitely want to get this. Take a pot hive. We could trade that one as well. Hmm, interesting. Got enough space on it though. Um, approval we have for 10 people, so I guess we're gonna build another casino farm uh, here. It's fine. And then go with the. Not here. Gosh, down it. Um, I'm gonna go with the planetary improvement, I guess here? Yeah, here, because there's a tech that uh, will allow us to get a second one of these planetary things. And we could then put it here in the middle and have at least three adjacent market centers. Uh, so we could put a bank or something there. Seems fine for me. Yeah, seems fine. Okay. Oh, we need to start working on our military soon, though. But... There's just no space on these things. Like, I need another... Or 
did I just... Uh, wait, let's see. Use design, obsolete. Can I... Can't I just edit this? I guess I can't. Hyperdrive... Uh Life support, there we go. Uh, it does cost us six mass, and we only have uh, four available. And if I take out the, the hyperdrive plus, the things are gonna crawl around the map like... Yeah, that's, that's not... It's not practical. Pretty much. So I'll just... Just leave it as is. I guess you can upgrade ships? What the hell's that? What are you doing? Short range, cut it out for beam combat. A nasty little slicer. Oh god, I'm just hoping they don't attack my uh, star station there. That would be rather bad. Now, we're not gonna load that much population on it, just maybe 1.1 is fine. And I'm uh, gonna go for... <laughs> I did indeed uh, colonize Mars now, the uh, Iconians are. So, it's fine. They're gonna... They're just gonna lose the, the colony, pretty much. Uh, we can cancel our second propagator, though. That one's pretty good. Uh, I guess we're just gonna do a couple of more constructors and send you up to here. And uh, we got our research project done in the Xeno Economics. That means we can uh, build the financial capital now. That can be built once per... One per player, okay. And the shopping center. And the orbital shopping center. <laughs> That's great. Alrighty. Um, don't want to go for... Let's see. Could get the better hull sizes, but it's 10 turns. It's too much. Let's see the uh, the tech tree for engineering. I, I think I want to go for the... Uh, I don't want the life support, actually. We need it eventually anyway. And we're gonna gain a free plus one ship range, though. That's very, uh, very tempting to take. Survey module is also interesting, but we already got a survey ship. And I don't see myself building another one. Uh, until we can actually at least build small ships. So... Ain't gonna happen. Need any one of these. Recreation centers... Not yet. Trade station, trade capital, not yet. This here is nice, but we don't need it yet, so we're good on that front. We don't need the extra tile yet, because most of our planets don't even have uh, all the tiles built yet. Xenobiology also. That could be interesting, but... Not really necessary. Adaptive farms, also not yet necessary. Uh, the research capital, though, is uh, interesting. But I think we're... We could sneak in the life support there. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, it takes five turns. But we do need more range on our scout. And we'll have something to do building up our wealth anyway. So I guess it's, it's, it's fine. Let's see if we can't find uh, something interesting over here. Idle Colony. Alright, so now we got the, the shopping center. Could put that in the middle. Let's see. Now this here is a nice, nice arrangement um, of... Let's see, we got four adjacent things. Oh, and we can improve you now. Nice. Uh, we got four adjacent buildings, so we could go for the technological, uh, the, the financial capital in here. Let's see. Here, not just yet, even with... Yeah. 
here we could only get three. Honolith mm, 2, Bronson. I guess Honolith is going to be our... Yeah, I guess this here is going to be our financial capital. Righty. And we even got a planetary soil upgrade. We could put another adjacency bonus here. How about that? So, uh, 30 turns. Whew. That is... Uh, <laughs> that's a little expensive. My friends. Um, maybe not just yet. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll wait a little bit. I do need to worry about getting more... Well, let's get the... Uh, Let's upgrade one of these, and then get one Xeno farm here. Because uh, we're running out of space here, finally. Approval... Uh, yeah, we need to consider building an entertainment center, but not just yet. I guess as a third one in the queue, if we keep the uh, economic focus. Mm. Yeah, this looks good. Alright, so we do have the uh, financial capital, we just can't build it yet, but that's, that's okay. Um, oh, you're bored? Is that so? Um, I'm guessing let's build a couple basic factories. I um, also want to build a shipyard in here, but not just yet. I'm first going to build up my production capabilities. Uh, Durantium Refinery... Not yet. I might... I might build the Colonial Hospital, move it over here, and put two... Yeah, I think I might do that. Put two Xeno Farms here and here, and then have something, I don't know what I'm gonna put here. Maybe a little... A little bit... of approval. Or we do the approval up here. Seems reasonable. Anyway, for now we're gonna leave it, of course, because I don't wanna... don't wanna waste too much time. Production time, that is. Uh, seem, actually, seems good. 17, that's a little much. Should we go for research focus? That's better. Uh, three turns is good, and hopefully that can bring down... Still five turns. Mother effer. All right, um, how about now? Still five turns. Okay, take off the research focus. Uh, that doesn't help at all, so... But once we got the Thulium data archive, we should be... Should be good, because this should output a lot more research. Yeah, 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 that, that should help it out a great deal. But five turns is, uh, yeah, it's five turns. I guess there's no way bring that down. Sending probes there, that's fine. Um, I want to eventually probably maybe deal with those guys, but then again I don't have the ships for it. Oh, this is so stupid. This is really stupid, but I don't mind. Like, they could build up... I really don't mind. They could build up the, uh, the planet. We're gonna save ourselves at least having to build up the population. They already got 2.6 in there. So, uh, we don't have to do that. We, we save ourselves some production time. Oh, speaking of that... Oh, yeah, we got constructors in here. Okay. Um, but I guess I could... Where's my uh, govern wheel? There it is. Um, economy, we could go more towards social. Maybe like so. I don't need to be that fast with my... Yeah, four turns is fine. Uh, no, this here is going to be way too fast. <laughs> That is a problem. I don't have anything to do with your production output. Or do I? I'm gonna save this here for a military project. Guess we could go research focus. Five turns still, huh? What about if we go research focus there? And there? And here? How about now? Really? Oh, it's three turns now, okay. So it just doesn't update. Thanks, probably uh, had that solved earlier. How about now? Still three turns. That's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna uh, build up this fast enough. 
and still only have three turns to wait for our life support, which is great. And a good point to end the episode on, don't you agree? I think so. You guys have a wonderful day, enjoy it, and uh, see you around for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.